Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I haven't really been in the mood <laughs> to vlog. It's just that I've been going through it. Um, I've really been struggling like this past month. I'm about to get ready for the day because I think we're gonna go out and do something. At least just me and the girls. Patrick's at work right now, but it's not too hot today and it seems to be cloudy so it's not like super hot and sunny. Maybe Cedar Point Amusement Park, we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood. I just wanted to get ready and clean up the house and then see how I feel after that. All right, I am all ready for the day. I am packing up the diaper bag right now. I don't think we're gonna go to Cedar Point. Graceland doesn't really wanna go and I don't wanna drag her to do that. So I think we're gonna go to the park, just find a park to go to instead and hang out there. Probably gonna grab some lunch. Something that we are definitely bringing today is our new portable stroller fan. This thing has been amazing, especially with the summer heat. It's been getting really, really hot lately and I don't leave the house without this. Thank you to Jizoo Life for sponsoring today's video. This is their stroller fan and you can get this for a really affordable price on Amazon. We all know how miserable it could be to be in the heat, to be sweating on these hot summer days, but especially for little kids and babies, it's much more uncomfortable for them. I also use it on myself. You guys know that I get hot flashes all day every single day and this keeps me from getting them or it just helps them go away a little bit faster so i also use this around the house all day every day it is definitely the most powerful handheld fan that i have ever had and it's my most favorite look at it blowing my hair this thing is amazing one of the best features on this is it has this bladeless design so it's really safe for kids and nobody's fingers are going to get caught up in any blades with this and it has this really cool four extend silicone tripod it's so easy to set it up anywhere or wrap it onto literally anything you can secure this on basically anything we have put it on the strollers the wagon in the car i've even wrapped it around the bike when we gone on like bike rides on really hot days there's five different speeds so you can customize the airflow to your needs it has an automatic head shaking function which makes it blow around a wider area and it has this air turbo tech which actually stimulates natural wind so it makes the breeze from the fan more gentle and comfortable it's not this super harsh blast in the face which is really important for babies it has this built-in air multiplier and it has a purifier built into it which is great for babies and kids so the breathing environment is going to be a lot more healthier for them with this fan especially when you're in public a feature that's really nice for the adults or for parents is the removable base so you can actually take this part off of the silicone tripod and then it becomes a tabletop fan there's also lights on this fan which is really useful especially if you are using it at night and it's like hooked up to the stroller and you need to find something it has this really nice illuminating light which lights up whatever area you're in really well so you'll be able to see anything you need to grab out of your stroller your wagon your car wherever it is and it also has this red warning light on the back as well it has great battery life to it this can be used for 12 and a half hours on the lowest setting so you can use it from the morning all the way to the night and it has this really nice led display to show the power status and the wind power immediately so that you know when to charge it i will have the link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this fan all right got this diaper bag all packed up now i need to figure out something that we can eat for lunch before we go i also need to clean up a little bit because i did not clean up at all this morning from like breakfast so i'm going to do a quick cleanup and then make some lunch Some spaghetti for lunch. 
So that's what I'm going to make them. I have no idea what I'm going to eat, though, because there's not really anything that I like to eat. We need to get groceries. I wanted to show you guys that I painted this cabinet finally. This was going to be in, like, a tackling my to-do list video, but I lost all the footage from it. So I never got to show you guys on YouTube. I did post on Instagram what I was able to salvage from the footage of me redoing it. But if you guys remember, this was tan and it had mirrors. I'll put a before picture. This is what I turned it into. I wasn't planning on painting the mirrors like that. I do love it way better without mirrors. So it ended up being for the best. But what happened was I put like paper in here to try and protect the glass from getting paint on it. And I forgot to take the paper out before the paint was dry. So it was just all stuck. And I had to scrape it out with a knife and like a little tiny flathead screwdriver. I ended up breaking the glass in several spots. You cannot even tell now because I painted over it and that is how I saved it. I do want to eventually get something to put above here. If you guys want to let me know what you think would look good, I would appreciate it. I was thinking either two wooden shelves just to decorate one big really pretty i'm thinking more of like a vintage piece of art to go up there that's just what i think will look good there but i am open to any of your guys's opinions if you want to comment what you think would look good because this is such a big wall and i know that this is small like i feel like it's small for the space i also feel like if i put enough on the wall it will look good and maybe i'll add like a plant or something next to it in the future i don't know i think that i got a package okay these are the ballet shoes that we need for today so perfect i was nervous jk i'm having pasta just like the girls because there's truly no reason for me to eat out and i'm trying really hard not to so a bowl of pasta it is although i would prefer a cane's chicken finger meal with toast and coleslaw but just trying to be good i went to go put back stuff in the fridge and i just realized that Patrick must have got me a new creamer and I already have some up there but this man has been keeping me stocked on my creamer ever since I told him the creamer that I like and he like knows that I love this one anytime he's at the store he will grab it it's just something so little but these are things that I'm very grateful for little things like this that just I don't know they make a difference and they show that someone's thinking and cares about you. Where is she? Can I do it? <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> we have just been chilling at home. Charlotte, their cousin, actually came over. <laughs> I'm so out of breath because I was just chasing them around the house with that mask on. Patrick was outside showing the kids his new little pet. It's a frog, right? Yeah, a tree frog. Danny. Here's Danny the tree frog. He didn't want him to run away, so he brought him back inside. You just have to put it under him like that. You have to be right next to him so he can like, climb I'm over. scared. <laughs> it's crazy how sticky their feet are. Yeah, like... he's so strong that like, I was trying to pull him off of something <laughs> and I could tell that like, I would rip his arm off. That's how hard he was holding on. Yeah. <laughs> Each fingertip has a pad. Yeah. Yeah, and they're slimy. Okay. So she can stick on you all day. It's so <laughs> scary, though. Back in the cage he goes. Patrick just ran to the store, and I have been trying to convince him to go to Aldi for so long. He has never gone there, at least by himself, to grocery shop. He usually goes to Meyer, but... He's getting sick of the prices everywhere else, just like I am or was. I mean, I shop at Aldi, you guys know this, but he's gonna go <laughs> for his first time by himself right now. There he goes, I believe in you. You can do it. He doesn't hate Aldi. Obviously, I buy the food from there, a lot of our food, so he eats a lot of it. <laughs> he likes to say that the quality is not as good, which for some things, that's definitely true, but I'm like, Patrick, butter, milk, cheese, eggs, all the kids' snacks that they like, like, Please just try and go to Aldi. Your wallet is gonna be a lot more happy. I'm hoping he doesn't change his mind though, like halfway through the drive and be like, nah, I'm going to a different store that he's used to. We're very similar and I know in his head, he's like, I've never gone to the store. Everything's different there. Like the way that it's laid out, the checkout, the bags, the quarters, but I told him all about it. So it should be fine. I'm just hoping he doesn't change his mind. I really, really want this man to go to Aldi and just experience it. Mostly just experience how much money you can save and how easy it is to shop there because 
there's not as many choices and that can be really overwhelming a lot of the times and you just take way longer to grocery shop so we will see how he does and i'm hoping he gets back in time to stay with the kids while i take Grayson to her play class because he's only got about like 35 minutes let's go three chicken nuggets <laughs> He is in fact not home on time. I didn't think he was gonna be able to no, make why it. Why do you act like this? So in and out. Yeah. Your voice is so weird. Does my voice change? Yeah. I guess it's my camera voice. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a strange phenomenon, isn't it? I didn't think he was going to be able to make it in and out of the grocery store in 30 minutes. And like, you gotta pack your own groceries there too. So you gotta take that into consideration. And he doesn't even have his phone with him. So he can't even keep track of time because we're using his hotspot on his phone because my hotspot isn't working. Yes, grandma is home. I have nothing. I hope she has nothing because I'm showing up with you guys. <laughs> I'm opening the door and you guys gotta hop out, okay? I'm joking. Hopefully. I was gonna say luckily I have my mom to watch them because I've mentioned it before, the waiting room is so small at this place and it gets really hot in there and claustrophobic and it's just hard to like keep your kids to sit still and not I told you disturb a times, other people. Stop using those singles. Graceland likes to point out the fact that I like talk with my hands and now apparently I talk with a different voice. I guess I just don't use my, my normal monotone voice. If I talk with my normal voice like this, I just sound really boring. Oh, I dare you But if I talk like this, I sound a little bit more happy and entertaining, in my opinion. Sometimes you're not. You know what, you're right, period. Sometimes I'm not entertaining. Yeah, you don't make videos. You, you didn't even make videos on the past weekend. Yeah, you know what? Call me out, girl. I haven't been making videos a lot. You're right. Are you home? Yeah. Can I drop them off for like an hour? Uh, yeah. Alright, you're going to grandma's. Where is it? This way. Oh. Like, where's the ballet shoes? Oh, I have them in my arm. I'm just sitting in my car while Graceland has her lesson because my phone was starting to die and there's actually nobody in there. I thought there was going to be a lot more girls in this class but there's only like three girls and the other parents must have left. I don't leave. I'm definitely going to stay. I'm right outside the building but I just wanted to charge my phone because if not I'm just sitting there literally staring at the wall because we can't watch them. The room's like closed off. But anyways, I texted Patrick and I had asked him if he went to Aldi. He said, yes. How was it? He said, I had to ask another mom how the shopping carts worked. And then I said, what was your total? He said $45. He went to the grocery store in the first place to get butter. And then he goes, I forgot the butter. I'm like, there's no way. I'm really, really hungry right now. And I was thinking of maybe walking to one of these restaurants or something, but everything down here that would be fast enough is closed already. I'm just gonna sit here in my hunger because I don't really feel comfortable leaving her here alone quite yet. I just don't think she's old enough for that. I don't know, it's weird because with Graceland, she's obviously my first kid and I see a lot of other parents like leaving, not leaving their kids, but just like, unsupervising their kids in certain situations or dropping them off to like parties or letting them walk to the park by themselves or like go to the park by themselves and I just not at eight not at eight years old not that's kind of really off topic here but I, it just had me thinking about it because I said I, that I don't want to leave her I'm not comfortable with leaving her here I sometimes will see like four five-year-olds I'm not even joking like completely unsupervised at parks and just like getting dropped off to parties I feel like you can just never be too safe especially in today's world and I just don't feel comfortable doing that if we're talking about when I was a kid I was three blocks away like I was probably three miles away at the age of 10 because that was just like normal back then but it's just not that's just not how it is now the next day I am feeling so refreshed right now because I slept until 1 p.m. which sounds actually insane but 
I really, really needed it. And I just feel so much better. I mentioned that I've been struggling and <clears throat> one of the things I've been struggling with, which I always struggle with, I just don't talk about it that much because I don't want it to be, I don't want to say like annoying. I just don't want to talk about it too much um, and get just like repetitive. Sometimes it's hard though because it is the way that I feel. But I have been struggling with really, really bad fatigue and joint pain and muscle aches and I really needed to get more sleep than I have been getting. I normally get like five to six hours every night, but let me think how much I just slept last night. 13 hours. I didn't sleep the full 13 hours. I did wake up because Hazel woke up in the middle of the night and she didn't want to get back in her bed. She was scared and she wanted to sleep on the couch. So we made a nice comfy spot and I fell asleep with her on the couch for like the rest of the morning. As you guys know, Patrick doesn't work nights anymore and he's on like a normal schedule now so I can actually sleep in basically whenever I want as long as he's not at work, which he wasn't today. And it's just so nice. It's so nice having a partner on the same sleep schedule as you and just like being there more than they ever were. Made some coffee, of course. And then I normally eat an egg with toast every morning but we do have these like Hawaiian cider buns and I was like, why don't I try and toast those and put an egg on it? I feel like it would be really good. That is actually really good. I think I like it better than regular bread. I either do like sourdough or Italian toasted bread. The weather's so nice right now. It's like pretty cool and there's a nice breeze. It's not super hot or muggy. We don't have anything planned today and I really haven't had anything planned lately because of the way I felt. It's like too difficult and too painful for me to really go anywhere. Although I try, sometimes I do try and then I just heavily regret it. So I've just been trying to like take it really easy and just chill and get the rest that I need the past couple days. Patrick told me last night he cut down a tree. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the tree that he cut down. He's got Isla out there. That looks like um, that looks like a broom, Mom. giant broom. Mom, my, my oh, you're riding on it? <laughs> Is that the tree that you told me you cut down? I feel like that'd be good for, to put in the garden. If you wanted to like route a plant to grow up it, that would be good for that. You found a caterpillar? Is it tiny? Oh, he's so tiny. He's a Let tiny see. little caterpillar. <laughs> Don't throw him. That's a baby caterpillar. He's got <laughs> I've never seen one that small. Who wants to go to the park before it rains? You wanna go to the park? Yeah! I'm telling you guys, one of my number one mom hacks. Keep a mini potty in your car <laughs> for times like this. I'm watching, go ahead. You want me to take a video? Okay, hold on, let me crack my back. Whenever we're at this park, these benches that are here are perfect for cracking your back. Oh. Patrick is taking Isla outside to play in the puddles and the girls are over at the neighbor's house. They're just playing outside in the rain. It is just a rainy, gloomy day today. And I'm working on, what is my hair right now? Editing a video and just doing some stuff on my computer. In a little bit here, Hazel is gonna go meet up with her t-ball team to go get some ice cream and get their medals for the year. I think Patrick's gonna take her to that. It is now 10 o'clock at night and I am heading out to go get Patrick and I's dinner because we did not eat dinner. We usually do this like once or twice a week where we will feed the kids dinner obviously but we aren't going to eat it. We'll wait until they go to bed and then we'll get ourselves something takeout. And he wanted some Wendy's so that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to go pick us up some Wendy's. I am so hungry though. All I ate today was the egg with toast 
a cheeseburger that Patrick made me for lunch and then one of the cupcakes he made because he did make cupcakes. I think I showed me putting those away. He likes to make cakes and cupcakes. Honestly, like once a month, nobody will stop him from making his cupcakes. Food is secured. We're probably going to watch a movie because that's normally what we do <laughs> every night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you who watch my vlogs and also take the time to comment if you do. I really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.